Hello again and thanks for stopping by. I wanted to briefly mention some new technology that I learned about recently from the CES Consumer Electronics Show in 2025. So I pulled up a page here from NVIDIA and they announced their NVIDIA Project Digits, a Grace Blackwell AI supercomputer on your desk. This looks really amazing and I think it's really just a indicator of the types of hardware that we're going to be seeing in the future and near future. There's another page here that has more information about the press release and also some other hardware. They have the Jetson Orin Nano Super Developer Kit and I believe they cut the price in half on that. And there's a picture here of the Grace Blackwell AI Supercomputer so let's take a look at that for just a moment here. We can see the connectivity with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB. A four terabyte SSD, the gray CPU with 20 ARM cores, and the GB10 super chip, the Blackwell GPU. And 128 gigabytes of low power DDR5. So here they're just saying that this new Grace Blackwell AI supercomputer will deliver a peta flop of AI performance in a power efficient compact form factor with the NVIDIA AI software stack pre-installed and 128 gigabytes of memory. Developers can prototype, fine tune, and inference large AI models of up to 200 billion parameters locally and seamlessly deploy to the data center or cloud. And if we go to the learn more, we can read a little bit more details about this. NVIDIA puts the Grace Blackwell on every desk and at every AI developer's fingertips. However, if we scroll down, I believe down at the bottom right here, they talk about the cost. It's going to be, looks like $3,000. And they say it'll be available in May so I assume that's May 2025 from them and their top partners and if you're interested you can sign up for notifications I can include a link to this page in the video description but let's scroll back up here and take a look at a chat GPT I asked it about the Grace Blackwell and so we can take a look here that the Grace CPU and Blackwell GPU for their high performing computer system, HPC. NVIDIA's Grace and Blackwell technologies aim to redefine the landscape of high performance computing. Here's an overview. So they have the NVIDIA Grace CPU, which is a new ARM based CPU architect architecture developed by NVIDIA to address the growing need for data intensive computations in AI, scientific research, and enterprise applications. It's designed and optimized for large scale AI workloads and high performance computing. Grace is designed to complement GPUs in a way that enable faster memory bandwidth and increased throughput. If we scroll down a little and look at the NVIDIA Blackwell GPU, Blackwell is the next generation of GPUs from NVIDIA following the Ada Lovelace architecture that was used in the RTX 4000 series. It is designed to further improve parallel processing capabilities, power efficiency, and scalability for AI and HPC workloads. So they talk about AI acceleration. Blackwell integrates specialized components like the tensor cores for deep learning operations making it particularly powerful for ai tasks such as training large language models or running inference at scale and i think this is important too the energy efficiency they focus on improving energy efficiency of the blackwell gpus to provide better performance per watt which is crucial in large-scale data centers And then here we look at the integration of Grace and Blackwell for HPC. 
Together, the NVIDIA Grace and NVIDIA Blackwell represent an innovative approach to building a high-performance computing stack for modern workloads. The combination of the Grace CPU and Blackwell GPUs allow for a tightly integrated system that efficiently handles both memory-bound and compute-bound tasks. And in conclusion, the NVIDIA, Grace, and Blackwell form the foundation for next-generation HPC platforms, providing a unified approach that combines high-performance CPUs with powerful GPUs. This enables researchers, engineers, and organizations, students, anyone who has access to a machine like this, to tackle the most demanding workloads in fields like AI, scientific computing, big data analytics, with unprecedented speed, efficiency, and scalability. So that all sounds really amazing to me. And again, I think it's just uh, kind of looking at what types of things like this we'll have in the future. NVIDIA has been making some pretty amazing products and this looks very interesting. If we go to the press release, let's see what they talk about here. This was just from January 6, 2025. At CES, the NVIDIA unveiled the NVIDIA Project Digits, a personal AI supercomputer that provides AI researchers, data scientists, and students worldwide with access to the power of the NVIDIA Grace Blackwell platform. With Project Digits, users can develop and run inference on models using their own desktop system, then seamlessly deploy the models on accelerated cloud or data center infrastructure. The GB10 Superchip provides a petaflop of power efficient AI performance, and it's a SOC, a system on a chip. Something else they mention here, in addition, Using the NVIDIA Connect X networking, two Project Digits AI supercomputers can be linked to run up to 405 billion parameter models. And I pulled up a page here where they're talking about their Connect X network interface cards. They have a lot of information about those here. So I think that's really interesting how you'll be able to link at least two of these together, maybe more. The Project Digits users can access extensive library of NVIDIA AI software for experimentation and prototyping, including software development kits, orchestration tools, frameworks, and models available in the NVIDIA NGC catalog and on the NVIDIA developer portal. They all go on to say here that developers can fine-tune models with the NVIDIA NEMO framework, accelerate data science with NVIDIA RAPIDS libraries, and run common frameworks such as PyTorch, Python, and Jupyter Notebooks. Well, it's a short video today. Just wanted to talk about this hardware a little bit. I like to keep an eye on upcoming important changes in the world of hardware and for developers and for AI related tasks such as this. I will be keeping an eye on this and maybe someday I will be able to check it out. Thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you soon. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.